Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Welcome to Kilco. I'm Mr. K. Today is day 15 on the Whiskey Tribe advent calendar, and I actually have the whiskey, which is, you know, nice uh, and unexpected because it is a Japanese whiskey, which is something I have only had very rarely, but it always makes me smile. Uh, actually, this one right over here. Kibiki. Mm. Uh, Centuri. Japanese Harmony. A meticulous blend of the finest selections of whiskey. Established 1923 Centauri Whiskey, the founding house of Japanese whiskey. Uh, there's a lot of history with Japanese whiskey, oddly enough. Most of it recent. I'm not going to go into it, but it's very interesting. It's just a couple of guys who got together to make whiskey uh, and a kind of an incredible story about how at least one of them went to Scotland to learn more about whiskey, married a Scottish girl, and came back to Japan and started doing his own thing. Pretty cool. Look at the bottle. It's amazing. Uh, 43%. Thankfully, it's all in English on the back. <laughs> a little worried for a second. I was like, oh no. Oh. Imported. Ah, Beam Centuri. That's right. Another reason to like Jim Beam a little bit more is they import Japanese whiskey now because they teamed up with the uh, Centauri brand, which is funny. It's some Tory time. That's all I wanted to do for this whole episode. Just that. Remember last time? There you know. I opened one of these and it popped in my face. Oh, good. That was a nice sound. Ooh, smells lovely. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a little hard to pour because of the shape of the bottle, but oh, man. How am I going to... Hold, please. There we go. Dropped some. Oops. Steady on. It smells lovely. At least the cork smells lovely. There we go. Immediately hit with apples. Very sweet smelling. The thing I like about Japanese whiskey, the few times I've had it, is that uh, it is. Similar in style to Irish whiskey, but it comes from a Scottish like kind of background. That's how it kind of started over there. Uh, I'm getting an alcohol tone, which I usually don't get on the lower proofs like this. Ooh, that was a weird one. I thought I charcoal for a second, but there's no smoke to this that I can tell. And suddenly I'm very thirsty. Oh yeah, vanilla. It's the one I keep glancing over when I say something is sweet. It's probably a vanilla or a caramel kind of note. Which are very common in whiskey. So I hate the fact that I have to say them every time, but... That's what it is. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. There is a tinge of something on this that I'm not liking, though. But not anything that would be off-putting. I guess I could say it's slightly medicinal or just that sort of rubbing alcohol sort of smell, which I never find very appealing. But we'll see. I've never really had this one. Um, I might have sampled it, but this was ages ago. I've never even opened this bottle until now, so uncorking, yay. Let's get down to it, shall we? Very light. Not too watery. Quick. We finished that was non existent to me. But it's good. I like it. Uh, but this would be a background whiskey for me, I think. I wouldn't pour this to impress anyone. I might pour it for someone who is new to whiskey, though. Just as a safe bet. It's like, you might like this. Uh, if not, uh, sorry. It's from Japan. Yeah. 
the other thing about Japanese whiskey is it technically can be from anywhere, as far as I understand it. They like to blend things. They don't always tell you exactly what's in it. Like this one, I believe, is a blend. Uh, I'll leave it right at the beginning, but that was a whole five minutes ago. A meticulous blend of the finest selections of whiskeys. Note the phrasing. Finest selection of whiskeys. Not specifically Japanese whiskey. It could be whatever. I think I'd like to see them start using bourbon just for giggles. Supposedly they use scotch sometimes. Rumor has it. Let's try this one more time with, uh, with a pause. Very sweet and very light. I'm thinking of flowers all of a sudden. I know we're talking the faintest hint of flowers, like uh, maybe a honeysuckle or something that you smell and it's not overpowering, but it's pleasant. This is reminding me of a kind of Irish whiskey that I don't dig as much. Uh, I don't want to name names, but there's somewhere it's like, yes, it's Irish whiskey. Yes, it has those initial flavors of, you know, the sweetness. It's very comforting, and easy to drink. You have Jameson kind of stuff. That's, that's one of the things that I equate it to. Is where it's it tastes good, and it's Irish, and it's delicious, but there's not a heck of a lot there. Uh, I think part of my problem with tasting is my taste buds are probably, how do I put this properly? Depressed is <laughs> the easiest way to put it. Uh, just because of the way my brain works and my taste bud works, it's a little hard for me to pick things out. So stronger stuff, easy. Uh, but lighter stuff like this, it's kind of, I have to really like, dig in, and it'll take much longer than I care for it to. It's a very mild citrus note. Nothing peppery at all. Other than the burn all the way down, I almost wouldn't believe this is alcohol if I drank it. I thought it, was, it would some kind of be a, it'd be some kind of, um, I don't want to say juice because that's not right. Maybe a sweetened liqueur. You know, I can see it for that. It's certainly not bad though. Uh, and I, I'm very glad I opened it. And unfortunately, this is something I can drink Anytime I want now, it could be a very easy daily drinker because it's lower proof. Uh, it's something I can just sip on while I'm doing, you know, editing or playing PC games. Not too much thought in it, but it is nice. It is very nice. Uh, I would uh, recommend this for beginners, I think, if, now that I've tried it. If anyone was curious about Japanese whiskey, this is a nice start, but don't expect anything crazy big like, oh my god, it's Japanese whiskey. There are others out there, I promise that it's a Japanese whiskey. You taste it and you go, oh my goodness, what is this? What is this? What's this? It's, it's, a, it's one of those kind of things. All of a sudden you're singing and dancing. I'm still getting a twinge of something on the taste too. It's kind of that weird hospital med medicinal sort of thing, but I can't place what the heck it is. I want to say like a rubbing alcohol thing. Not something strong, but just the hint of rubbing alcohol, and maybe that's just because they used more grain alcohol in it than anything else. I don't know. Anyway, it's pretty damn good. I'm glad I got to try it. That bottle won't last more than, you know, six months probably now that I've opened it. Whiskey app. Nose profile for this. Oak, vanilla, new wood, sandalwood. I can get that, maybe, slightly. And honey. I agree. Flavor profile, orange, citrus, vanilla, and honey. As I said, very basic, nothing crazy, pretty damn good. And the finish, oak, vanilla, honey, sandalwood, and cinnamon. It's all very... Cinnamon? Really? I didn't get any cinnamon. Maybe a little bit. Some kind of something. Hold on. And that's on the finish. I don't know. That was, that was a little hard for me to pull out. Um, oh, here we go. They do have the official overview, so that's good. Japanese blend. That's very vague. Luminous, delicate, a transparency that unra unveils complexity. A transparency that, no, I'd say it's a very simple whiskey. Color, amber. No. It is a close color to bourbon, but bourbon always looks more orange to me. 
So I would have to disagree. It's got that, it's almost got that scotch color or an Irish whiskey color, a deep Irish whiskey color. But it's, it's a lovely color. It's a beauty. Official nose, Rose Lecce, L-Y-C-H-E-E. -E. Hint of rosemary. Maybe that's what I'm getting the medicinal thing from. Mature woodiness, sandalwood. I don't know enough about sandalwood. I've smelled it, but it's been a, it's been a bit. But I could probably get that if I thought about it real hard. I don't get a lot of wood notes from other types of whiskeys. Like uh, it seems like Scotch, Japanese, Irish, not so heavy in the oak because uh, with bourbon I get it all the time, but not so much with everything else. Official taste: honey like sweetness, sure. Candied orange peel, white chocolate, white chocolate. That was longer than I care to do that usually, but this is a very light alcohol. There is a little tingle now that I, that I left it there. Maybe that's where they get the cinnamon or the, um, the sweetness is lovely. And I would say it is honey-like. So if you like honey, do it. The white chocolate I can get maybe for that feeling after you've had chocolate, especially white chocolate, not milk chocolate. That I can agree with, but uh, pushing it. Official finish, subtle, tender, long finish, with hint of Mizunara, ah, the, the Japanese oak. I don't even know if this is ever J Japanese uh, oak barrels, the Mizunara casks. But um, yeah, I got to do two of these today because I didn't do it yesterday. So until next time, let's launch it. I think I'm just going to sip whiskey all night. Because uh, I'm done with the show now. I'm so tired.